So Pam, we're branching into new areas of chemical engineering here. Essentially, we're trying to create synthetic environments in which we can actually culture cells and have them mature into a functional tissue replacement. So with this, we're actually going to create an artificial environment that will function as a three-dimensional matrix to support tissue formation. And so as part of this, you prepared an alginate solution in which we've seeded cells into the solution. And we're actually going to create um, hydrogel beads with the cells encapsulated into it. So at what density of, are the cells in the solution? 250,000 cells per milliliter. Okay. So why don't we go ahead and make some beads? Okay. So I'm going to use a 1,000 milliliter pipette to draw up the alginate solution. And then I'm going to drop it into calcium chloride solution, which will cross-link the different chains of the alginate, forming a bead. How long does it take for the alginate to gel? It begins to gel instantly. If I leave it in there for a long time, it can form a very firm structure. Or if I remove them quickly, I can form a structure that has a hard outside and a very soft inside. So depending on the application, I can vary the material properties of these beads. So why don't we then pour off the, the liquid and collect the beads that we can now transfer to the incubator. We can culture for them for several weeks and hopefully they'll grow into a complete tissue so that very far down the road we can actually create synthetic tissue replacements for patients suffering from organ loss or tissue failure.